everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout. And today I am going to use that awesome but super crazy pattern paper that's in the background there. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to gut this red paper. I love this red paper and this is one of the last pieces I have of it. Um, and it's perfect for the field trip collection. So I'm going to gut that. What I need to do though then is I need to change the size obviously of that crazy paper. So I'm just going to go in and trim off about a half an inch. So I trimmed off a quarter of an inch from each side. And that's because I wanted to maintain um, like the balance of color. If I had pulled it off all of one side, you wouldn't have gotten as much of the sort of ombre that you get if I did it that way. So, and then the doing the red paper as a border there helps keep the design quote from falling off the edge. It always feels like it's falling off the edge with something highly patterned like that. So then I added, um, so that pattern paper is from the 12 by 12 field trip pad. And then the red paper is Chamel's field trip far, far away paper. And I liked that red paper, but I, I wanted to pop the little screenshot there that I took um, a little bit more. So I grabbed that turquoise colored heart paper. It's Bella Boulevard, Bella Besties, Hearts and Ombre and Golf. And I think that really helps pop that off the background. Originally, I was thinking about putting that in the bottom because that's more where the blues were, but I love the blues and I didn't want to get rid of them. So I think it also helps balance that card up there as well, or the, the blue and red up there as well. So then I added that um, that little die cut that says 1098 numbers. This is all about the amount of books that when I reached 100 books last year, which I've not ever done before, didn't intend to do it, but I did. So let me go through the layout and, you know, talk about that if I have time. But anyway, um, so I screenshot Goodreads. And then because it's all about the numbers, I'm using that um, cut apart from the 1098 from, or it's a die cut, one of the two from Field Trip. I pulled that um, word awesome there, and that's a cut apart from the Field Trip Stay Curious paper. I have that library card cut apart again from the Field Trip collection. I don't remember what paper that is, but it's a, a whole bunch of library cards. And then I'm, so I'm going to put that on the bottom to help balance out the top a little bit. And then I'm doing it on a diagonal from left to right. I've talked about this before. That's the way we read. So we look at the top, get the stuff in the top, and then go to the bottom. And that awesome helps kind of, you know, make it stand out. Then I am adding in this strip of books. And that border strip is from Chamel Field Trip Far, Far Away, just because it's a book layout. And I had the strip, so I decided to use it. Those wood veneer books are from Shadney and she has an Etsy shop and I love um, her wood veneer. So I, I, and I have a bunch of these because I do reading layouts all the time. So as I said, I didn't set out to read a hundred books last year, but I actually read 125 by the end of the year, but this is in October. I hit 100 books on October 9th. So I wanted to um, document that because that's a pretty big deal. I think the year before the most I've ever read since I've tracked this as an adult is um, 75 books. And I know I've never read anywhere near that before. So anyway, adding in the title 100 books here and I'm using this blue alpha when I realize that I don't have all the letters I need <laughs> um, in any size of the font. So I'm kind of looking like maybe I need to do another blue. Um, I like that little blue circle alpha, but it's not big enough. It needs to be, the alpha needs to be more substantial. And it's just a matter of finding the right blue too. That's the other piece. Um, I liked this background paper because there's books and dinosaurs and telescopes, robots. It just makes me feel like um, things that you learn or things that you read about in books, you know, the different worlds, I guess, was kind of the idea why I use this crazy paper. Plus it was just a challenge to use it. So sometimes that's just fun to do that, right? So, I mean, the photo, the photo, the screenshot here definitely drove the, um, 
layout, but def that paper when I saw it then really drove all my choices after that. So I'm cutting the tails off cues because I didn't have any O's left. All right, and that layout or that alpha is one of my favorites. It's Chamel Fitzgerald in Aqua. I just, I love the Fitzgerald alphabet. They can make that in every color and I'd buy it. And adding in an exclamation point because that's kind of a big deal. I, I think I said this, I track on Goodreads and that's where this came from. So if you're tracking on Goodreads, you can always friend me. It's just, it's just my name, Kelly O'Black, that I'm under. All right. So just adding in those last pieces. I did put the 21 down in the bottom, so 2021, just to get some more of that glitter and that aqua in to pull that, in, to pull those two sections of the layout together. Even though they're spaced pretty far apart, they don't look like they are because of everything going on, but that's what I was trying to do there. Then I am adding in these pink puffy hearts from the Ellie Studio Tiny Shapes and Dots puffy stickers. And there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody.